Tash and JB. We recently moved to Costa Rica to build our dream in the jungle. Follow our adventure as we start developing our land, surf some of the best waves and explore the jungle in our Torti the Jimney. Click that subscribe button to follow our journey every Monday. Are you ready? Let's go. I have a very big surprise for you guys. So as you could see in the previous video we went for a surf on the Saturday and as I came out the water there was this puppy and I was like oh my goodness you are gorgeous and one of the things JB and I have been discussing is like we felt like a dog needed to come to us rather than us like looking for a dog so he's <laughs> still like walking on my feet <laughs> um, so yeah so I was like playing and I was like oh my goodness please tell me you have another one of these and she's like are you actually being serious and I was like yes um, we really want to get a puppy and she's like well I have two alpha dogs basically and they're not getting along so we actually need to find one of the puppies at home and this is how we ended up with a puppy so this is weird when you put things up in the universe like what actually comes back to you so this is rusty man i'm like i can't believe we have a puppy it's been six years of like this urge like this dying urge just to get a dog to like and i wanted a dog that would be with me all the time so when we were in cape town or when i was in cape town this wasn't possible i was working all day i didn't want to dig and have a dog that would stay at home and then you know like not have that interaction um, so yeah and then we moved to Qatar and Qatar also working like crazy hours and just not like we were living in a flat it was just not a nice place for a dog and then we moved to Paris and then we were traveling and like it's just been like five years of like or six years of just like this just not in the right place to get the dog and now we're finally in that place and it came to us and I'm just like been in Costa Rica for one month and we got a puppy and we also learning because like we've you know like we've never had a blue Gila before and they are very intelligent dogs and they're very loyal so like you can see he literally won't leave my side like and it's been one day so I'd love to know what it's gonna be like in like three or four months of yeah he's gonna be like my shadow oh my goodness I can't believe this has all happened was not expecting that to be this weekend. <laughs> okay, so Bud B, well, Daddy's going for a, a surf. We are gonna go for a walk. But I think we're gonna try and see if we can get him into the water. You wanna try? You wanna try going into the water? You wanna play in the lakes? <laughs> so well. If my feet are close enough to the coconut, will you play with the coconut? He's an amazing dog. We can't wait to train him and see what he's capable of. Yeah. So we have a very busy plan for this week, but the week starts on the Sunday yeah. for a change. So we're just going to go and chill. We've had a nice walk, we've had a nice surf, and let's go do something. nice and cool so yeah this week we have a few things planned we've got two meetings with architects yeah we this week basically trying to get all the people opinion about our project mm. to see if it's right make them come to the land getting other people opinion to be sure to confirm our ID before we start to dig anything uh, and to be able to move forward so this week is like a transition week to validate confirm revise our plan exactly we're not in a rush to like, you know, bulldoze anything. So we want to make sure that we are 100% certain that 
we got the right spot and yeah. so on. We don't want to make any mistakes. So yeah, sure. And today is Rusty's first day on oh, the land. Yeah. So he's currently exploring and chewing on <laughs> some wood. <laughs> and he met his next door neighbor, which is very exciting. So yeah, lots happening. So yeah. nice to have a little puppy. Yeah. <laughs> I love him so much. He looks so content here. He's going to do so well. A little guard dog. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So the architect should be here any minute now. Sit. Yes, yes. The first development we want to do is at the back. So well, we're thinking that it should be at the back. So the tiny house at the back. We probably have a balcony coming this way because we want to make this like a really beautiful garden. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of come and grab your vegetables. So it's going to be a balcony and kitchen out here. And then on the other side, we're thinking of having like a little bit of an office and then the bathroom. And we start with the preliminary drawings. There are drawings that you will tell me, this is exact what I want. This is just drawings because it's just architectural. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to make changes, to change the slope of the roof, or if you want another window, if you want a, another sink. Mm -hmm. All good. We just had the meeting with the architect and yeah. it went really well. Yeah. Really like him. He's very open minded, non creative, aggressive. Yeah, I take into consideration all the things we've been brainstorming about and the idea like what we what is very important for us in mm -hmm. the design and it was taken into consideration and updating and so it was pretty good proactive meeting. Yeah. Actually we slowly going to the idea of going something more solid, permanent and good, a good project. So mm -hmm. it will take longer but so we're also changing about our expectation and all the stuff. So Yeah, and I think like a nice one bedroom house. I mean it's still gonna be tiny. But um, a nice one bedroom house is, yeah. it's just, it's, and it's complicated because we want to make sure that every little piece of the house is properly designed and properly thought through. It's not just like creating a square block with a square bedroom. Um, so now we're just going to go and map out where we want the road to go so that we can get the excavator in and finalize the road. Yeah. Um, we initially showed you guys that we wanted the road to come along and we've changed our mind a little bit we still want the road to come along but we want the road to also now go through the cattle location or the cattle road or also known as the monkey road yeah <laughs> basically to be able to go up to the tiny house yeah. and even further down so and because we've moved the container the container needs to have an access road we Correct. need to be able to get the container there so but there are a lot of trees and so we need to find the perfect path yeah, we don't want to cut down any good trees, obviously. So we need to go and do that now. Yeah. And Rusty looks it like he's having sleeping. a really good nap. I'm tired. Yeah. That was a lot of like brain work. Yeah. Action. 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 Rusty, come. I don't know, this is the tricky part because we can see big trees and we have to go more there. For the jungle, huh? Oh yeah, good boy. Was your first day exhausting? Yeah. So today we are just going to finalize where the road is going, so that when we get the excavator in, hopefully next weekend or next week, we can sort out the road. Um, after speaking to the architects, we've decided not to do too much on the landscaping until we know exactly what we want to do. So we're just going to do the road. I think. Whoa. Yes. That's, whoa, that's scary. <laughs> I'm cutting, she's supervising. I'm the labor today. Do you have the rope? No. See? She's the brain. Told you. I know. It's all about the Hi, Rusty. 
You gonna come stand up to the mug? Come, come resty, come resty. Oh, good boy, hey? And he's realizing what his name is. Say, you have to say hello to your fans. Hello, fans. <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna supervise on the sticks, bud. Hmm? You have to collect all the sticks. So he is a blue healer, which means that he's one of the most clever dogs. Well, I'm sure you're going to say your dog is the most clever dog, but they are known as extremely clever dogs and highly active. So we have to make sure that we keep him very active and that he has jobs. So at the moment, we're still trying to figure out what his job's going to be, but it's definitely going to be protecting the land and we're gonna try and train him and do like I don't know fun stuff with him so he is gonna be smart yeah, so now we need to make the line here to be sure where we're gonna drive through um, you, you could just you want me to go more I would go can you see that little stick pointing at the this one yeah. Okay. Why do I go now? Now the road is coming from there. going all the way there but the road here like going there turning way back in the hole kind of the zigzag but this is the only way we found to save as much as the big trees to go a bit on the zigzag but here will be many small cars so we have a line we have a road line now now we need to cut the trees on the line before the excavator can come be careful wasp on the tree nest Annoying, I'm tired. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Sunday and we are back on the land. Um, this morning we went for a surf, and today we have the excavator who is coming to just um, see what we need to do on the land. So, next week we will have the the excavation so that's very exciting and we also have maybe the container coming so next week is going to be really busy and it's really exciting because things are starting to move forward and i'm really happy about that so yeah he's just busy uh, speaking to the excavator in spanish and yeah um rusty's with him rusty was playing on the surfboard this morning it was very cute <laughs> and yeah so let's go busy explaining how the road's going to be going up here and then it's going to go past you know this big tree and then down along the monkey road but i need to first get up hi let's go Ooh. i'm gonna get down there here Are we matching? 
Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we becoming one of those couples. <laughs> Stop copying me. You copy me. <laughs> cool. Thanks so much for watching this video. Yeah, thank you. I hope uh, you enjoy. Yeah, and I uh, hope you enjoyed a little rusty. Yeah, stay tuned because there's a lot of adventure. We're gonna teach him a lot of things. So. Yeah. Yeah, a new little addition to the family. Exactly. <laughs> and Walker, because we're yeah. going to teach him uh, stuff to tricks. do. Yeah, a lot of tricks. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>